two-door Chevy. Don't know what year that is. <clears throat> I had a chance to buy a lot of these cars back in the day, but I thought he was asking too much money for them, and I probably should have bought them. <clears throat> Doors ain't open. The plastic's still on that seat in there, on that front seat. Look at that plastic in there. That's wild. It's only on the passenger side. Oh no, it's on both sides. Unless somebody did that to try and uh, preserve the seats, maybe. But that's an old Chevy right there. Y'all can give me a year on it. Yeah, plastic on both the front seats, or the, I don't know if it's a bench or not. It looks like a bench. Yeah, it's a bench. Oh, the plastic fell off the back seats. Like a seat in there. Wow. Oh, look at that. This is a nice little car here. Nope, no trespassing sign right on the seat. Jeez. Old Plymouth. I think my medications make me clear my throat all the time. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. This got number seven on it. What does that mean? Maybe somebody bought them already and just haven't picked them up. Well, here's something missing here. There was something here. He definitely got rid of a few cars. His health wasn't very good. Uh, probably the last time I was here was uh, eight years ago. And his health was declining then. There's a little Plymouth. This is a four door with the suicide doors on it. On the back. And this door opens. I like that choke. Or is that a choke? What is that? Throttle. Yeah, it's a choke. Keys are in this and everything. Yeah, that looks like a 48 dash, but I don't know. Yeah, that door opened good. Let me check this other door. Oh, the back one opens good too. This is a nice car. It looks pretty solid. Got a lot of barnacles on it though. Look at this stuff. That must be the north side of the car, huh? Old Plymouth. Oh, this got number six on it. Oh, and this got a five on it. Okay, I, I, I see where this is going. Kinda. <laughs> but those numbers look pretty old. What is, oh, Plymouth Cricket. This used to be, well, it still is. A cricket, a four-door cricket. Four-door cricket car, huh. So yeah, now we got a four and a three on those. This one's a five, this old Rambler right here. Anybody could put a year on this old Rambler, I'd appreciate it. Rambler Deluxe. You got a lot more cars here, but I can't spend uh, too much time here. I'll probably, the cops will be rolling in here shortly, probably. It'd be nice I could talk my way out of a, getting, getting thrown in jail or something, but. Yeah, that's a cool car. I had a 69 Rambler American. What is this? This is a Rambler, just a classic, it says. See if we can open the doors. <clears throat> nope. No keys in that one. There's another Ford. There's another Ford. Two more Fords here. One's a four door, one's a two door. I'm told that the two door front doors are the same as the four door front doors. So, and there's a two door right there. 
And there's a four door right here. They say you can weld these doors up and make the car a two door and change, change out the front seat. That's about it. You got yourself a two door. Wing windows, I mean the windows on the back door and the back quarter over there are a little different. Of course, these are different years. I'll see the tail lights on these. I forget which is which. The bigger ones, I think the bigger ones are 49. Look how big those tail lights are. I think the big ones are 49. And the little ones are 50. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong or right. That's a cool looking two door. Let me, let's do a little walk around on this four door. She's rough. She got cancer. See if this door open. Yeah. Yeah. No keys in this. Dash is there. The old radio still in there. Yeah, it's getting. Yeah. Thought a bee was getting my ass. Yeah, this is the number four. So they started there. One. Oh, the Firebird must be one. That old car is probably two, that's three, and this is four. So maybe they, I don't know. If they had an auction, why are the cars still here? Unless somebody bought them all and got all sorts of time to take them out of here. That would suck for me, then I wouldn't have a chance to get any of these. Here's that two door. pretty straight I don't know if the motor's in it or not see if the door opens yeah uh, key uh, no no keys in this one oh nope so stick shift uh, oh somebody redid the seats these are not for the car these are bucket seats from something else So, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'd love to have me some money to get all these things. Now here's another cool car. I'm not sure what this is. Tail lights are intact. Uh, I don't know if this is a 30s or a 40s. If anybody's got a... Look at this stuff, man. Shit growing in here. Uh, wow. That's wild. Uh-oh. Shit, okay, good. Look at those headlights. Pretty awesome. I don't know how this hood opens. lock on the thing yeah the lens for that headlights in on the front seat what year we think this one is folks hmm i want to call it in the 30s of course it might be the 40s somewhere that's a cool car it's got suicide doors in it too these cars have been here a long time. I've been in South Carolina 18 years myself, and I found these pretty much the day I moved in here because I used to drive around just looking for old cars back in the day. Now, this says for sale on it. So, we know one is for sale. No phone number. I'm a Pontiac guy, so, you know, I'd buy this. It's a little too new for me. Handles are kind of broken. Automatic. Glove box is falling off it. They got a little Toyota Camry over there that his wife used to drive all the time. I see that the tag is expired on it under the carport when I first pulled in. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a hold of somebody on this stuff. I'm guessing this is about a 77. But again, there's a number on this one. I got to find out what all that's about. All right. I come across this place in uh, 
due west, South Carolina. Well, I've been here quite a few years ago. Um, they got, he's got some cool cars here. Uh, I knocked on the door, though. I don't think he... Uh, I think something might have happened to him. There's cameras all over the place. and uh, Anyway, I thought I'd show you a few cars while I'm here. I'll probably get in trouble for it. But that's what I do. I take a little bit of risk. Because I love these old cars. <clears throat> no, that's not opening. It's an old Pontiac right there. Put a year on that if you can. Uh, number 10. Oh, maybe they had an auction. Couldn't sell nothing. I don't know. Got a few Fords around too. I wish he was here to let me. I'd rather like to open the hoods and stuff on this stuff. He had a 65 Chevy uh, Impala here at one point, right around this area, but it's gone. There's a. I don't know what that is. I mean, is that a, what is that? I don't know what that is. Could be a Studebaker, maybe. It kind of resembles one. <clears throat> Look at the inside. Radiator's in there. A radiator's in there. I'm sure it's not to this car. There's an old Apache truck. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here. Yeah, this is a Studebaker. I recognize that back window. It's pretty rotted though. I'm gonna have to try to get a hold of whoever's taking care of this place now. There's a ton of cars here. A ton. There's some old Fords. Rotted, this one's pretty rotted pretty bad. Uh, windows knocked out of this side. Some parts on the seat. Quarters are pretty gone. What's that, a 49 or 50? I don't know. I'm running through spider webs too. 